is happening, people? It is Brian Alzer with NeverState.com, and today we're going to talk about some of the benefits of benching, even though I do strongman. Now, if you're not involved in strongman, you never ever compete in the bench press. I think there's absolutely, and apparently I shouldn't compete in speaking. But in all my time of strongman, I've actually heard of one event in any strongman competition that actually dealt with benching. So a lot of strongmen choose to take it out of their programming because if we're being completely honest with each other, Bench press may not be the best option for your shoulders if you're looking for longevity in the sport or life or putting cereal boxes away. So basically what this video is going to be is me working up to a three rep max on the Swiss bar because this will be the first time since post-operation that I've actually went for a three rep max on the bench press. Now, I think it's important to note here when I say that I still incorporate the bench press in my strongman routine, yes, every once in a while I will do the traditional bench press, but if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I pretty much just do it every once in a while to show the silly powerlifters that some strong man can still bench. That's a great reason to tear your rotator cuff. So a lot of times when I mention the bench press, what I'm talking about is the close grip bench press or the Swiss bar bench press or the floor press or a variation that still fits my needs in strong man and helps me out there, but as well is still getting some bench press work in. So what I want to do throughout this workout is between my sets, I'm going to be going around talking to different people and giving you guys my opinions of why I keep the bench press involved in my programming. That makes sense? No. I think I like Olu's look of bewilderment the most. Yeah, bro, it'd be great. It'd be great. Just go with it. All right, so while I'm putting my uh, elbow sleeves on here, first off, thank you, Mark Bell. I appreciate it. Uh, secondly, uh, one of the main reasons why I do benching still is because triceps are the king of pressing. So whether it be overhead, bench pressing, whatever you're doing, if you have stronger triceps, you'll be able to press more weight. That is just, it's science, people. Now that's exactly why I focus on the variations that I talked about earlier, like the Swiss bar press or the close grip bench press or the floor press is because it is tricep dominant because that is mainly what I'm working there. I'm not overly concerned about my chest as a strong man because you only use it, uh, well, you still use it very, very much, but you use it much less than you do your shoulders. What a great start. And then the third part of my giant set is butt walks, which I'm not ready to show you guys. But these are from fighting. It's just a move that you do so that you can learn how to use your abs and your core in a different way than you normally would. They take more butt coordination than you would think. Why? 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 Is this, is this how the day is going now? All right, so if you're anything like us, uh, here in Maryland, it is extremely humid and extremely thick and sweaty out. So that always leaves like a slight film on all the benches. So if you find yourself sliding around on your bench, you can either take some bands or you can grab uh, those little liners that go inside of drawers for like your silverware and things like that. Those little, what are they called? Toolboxes, the toolbox mint liner. Toolbox liner. Yeah. Sure, but <laughs> and apparently I shouldn't compete in speaking. Go to some stupid big box store, find a thing that they don't let things slip around, throw it on the bench. What just happened? So anyway, you take the band and you simply just lay it on the bench and then you'll stop sliding around so you can actually get a good arch, throw your traps into the band and actually get some leg drive out of it. So you go. So another couple reasons why I like using the bench press during strongman is number one, you do need some chest strength for doing stones because you're doing that crush almost like a fly motion. How much you're actually using your chest is debatable, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't hurt. So I'm gonna do it for that anyway as almost like an assistance exercise, but uh, from a hypertrophy point of view, I still do like to do some reps, higher reps of the bench press to try to build up my chest for the simple fact that a guy with my build I don't have a big barreled chest. It's, it's, a, it's more of a flat chest. So with something like a log, I have less room or less purchase on the log than someone with a larger chest. So I still like to work it like that so that hopefully I can have a better foundation to drive energy through my legs, up through my chest, into that log and above my head. However, that doesn't seem to be happening very well at all. At least not lately. So basically, the first guy goes, he taps him on the shoulder. Serpentine pattern! Serpentine pattern! 
And they're like, if you do that again, we're just gonna shoot you. If you guys are trying this and you guys are just doing this, just do that for like 35 seconds, that'll work. All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys tired of hearing from me. So here is Jeff Kriglik, one of the top 200 strong men in the nation. Uh, Jeff, you're, you're very kind. I am very kind. <laughs> Don't you guys forget it. But Jeff, you still do benching as a straw man. So why, what benefits do you get from it? So there are three benefits that I see from it. The, the first benefit that I get from benching is first and foremost, you can never have enough size in your chest. It's true. And the big reason why I say that is not because, you know, I want all the girls to look at me because that doesn't happen anyway. Um, but the top reason why is when I'm racking a log or if I'm racking an axle and my chest is bigger and it's a lot more stable, that bar is gonna be a lot more glued to my chest and when I do my dip and drive, it's not gonna have the tendency to fall forward because it's gonna bump into my upper chest. I thousand percent agree. So that's where an incline bench comes in. Yes. So you build that upper chest there. Number two for me is with bench press, you know, you have to pack your lats. You have yes. to engage your lats in the bench press and that teaches you for strict overhead press. It teaches you for any overhead press variation and strong man. And you know, whether you're split jerking, push jerking, it doesn't matter. Any type of variation where you have to use your lats and get your lats tight, it's gonna make your rack more stable. So if you have to do it in bench pressing, you're gonna have to do it in an overhead press movement. And packing your lats is packing your lats. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same thing with every type of movement. If your upper back is not strong and your lats are not strong, you're not gonna be good at strongman. Absolutely. The third thing for me and the most important thing for me is any bench press variation, whether it's a floor press, a board press, a regular bench press, a closed grip bench press, a multi-grip bench press, whatever. Hey Kona, how's it Hi going? Kona. Kona's excited to bench. Um, your tricep lockout strength. Yes. Um, whether you're weak off your chest, whether you're weak at your lockout, you can never bench enough in order to activate your triceps enough. So for me, the top three reasons why I bench are bigger rack position because it works your upper chest and your, your chest muscles in general, um, focusing on how you engage your lats and yes. also how you use your triceps. So those are my top three. Perfect. Oh, that's so <laughs> slow. No one ever wants to do that with me. Here, let's do it again. All right, you ready? Right, ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Whatever. Uh, get out. Get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Get out of here. Let's go. Good. Yep. Good. Ah. Yeah. Let's go. Good. 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 Thank you. Whatever we're playing, I just won. Now, despite what that last set looked like, I actually, one of the main reasons why I like to do bench is because it's kind of a break for me. I get to do some stuff that's actually a little bit easier. Bench day, comparatively to the rest of the days, is absolutely brutal. So, uh, to be honest, bench day is almost like an assistance day or an accessory day because you're just doing things that are gonna help your actual movements and you don't need to beat yourself up with the main movements that you're already so beat up from throughout the week anyway. That was a lot of words. All right, well, 335 went up for a triple. Uh, definitely feel my shoulder. I think it was from those 275 reps that uh, kind of banged out in front of me. Anyway, another reason why I like doing bench uh, is because if you're involved in strongman, you do upper back a lot. Strongman is all about the upper back. That's why you never see a strongman without traps. At least a decent strongman. Yeah. So for that purpose, unlike most people who only work their chest and they get that muscle imbalance where they're rounded forward like they're sitting at a desk all the time or they're texting all the time and they get that humpback kind of thing, strongman can actually get the opposite imbalance where their chest is so much weaker than their upper back that they start running problems. So you still do need to work the front as well as the back, even though it does seem pretty stupid to do so. I guess, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'll take it. It sucks, but I'll take it. <laughs> As I'm about to do the same way. This is Eric. Eric's a jerk. <laughs> the reason why Eric's a jerk is because Eric's going to try to bench as much as me. 
Eric's a jerk. Oh. 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 Yeah! Oh. Get out of the gym! Get out of the gym! Woo! Lose my number. All right guys, so I'm just finishing up with some assistance stuff here, but the real reason why I'm talking to you is to thank you guys so much to all of you who purchased the program recently. But guys, you need to email me. If you guys have bought a program or you're interested in buying a program, email me at neversate at gmail.com. Otherwise, I do not know who to send it to people. Also, if you guys are interested in a Never Say shirt, we are down to the last few. So if you guys want to pick one up, definitely go over to theloyalbrand.com. Grab one while they're left because we will not restock them once they're gone. We will be coming out with a new one soon, but I want to send this video out with Nick kidnapping Olu. Okay, man. All right, fellas. So all that needs to get edited out, but what, <laughs> what, uh, why do you guys, you guys are both good strong men. Why do you guys keep bench in your programs? Go ahead. Well, well I, I do more of uh, close group bench. Yeah. You know, he, he, he helps me with my press. So... Uh, I use that to, you know, strengthen my tricep because without um, without big tricep and strong tricep, your overhead press will be very weak. I agree. And because strong man, we all do a lot of overhead press, and it's a good assistant work for me, you know, for me to get my overhead up there. So at least with a lot of uh, close grip bench, I'm able to strip press 375, and that was one of my, you know, little secret yeah. to my overhead press. Not anymore. Uh, not anymore. I'm learning to. I'm learning no. to express now. I say it's not a secret anymore because you just told all these people. Yeah, but you know, sometimes you have to let the secret out. Sometimes you know, so that you can help others. That's true. That's the purpose of it. You know. How about you, Nikolai? Uh, Mr. Neek. I mean, I think it's pretty much the same across the board. As it helps with lockout and your overhead pressing. Pressing is pressing. Do you guys think it's worth it? Like the risk to your shoulders. Do you think it's worth the bench press? Um, I you normally. I don't normally hit normal bench anymore. If I do bench, it'll either be banded, but most time I use this now that we have this. I can do wide, I can do normal, I can do close, whatever, I can do really close and that hammers your triceps, which is the main reason why I'm benching anyway, is to get that tricep power, that lockout power. Because triceps are king in the press. Yeah, yeah. and Bottom it helps line. with your stability. I mean, yes. If, if you can, if you have the strength to press it, you don't have the strength to keep it there and hold it there, what good is it? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, why I stopped doing flat bench was because it was so dangerous on my shoulders and yeah. I think it's pointless because I do strong man, so I'm not a powerlifter anymore. So I, I gain a lot of tricep strength, which, you know, add a good carryover to my overhead thread, like I said earlier. Yeah. So but you do the variations that are more tricep yeah. dominant. So yeah. I, I, keep, I keep a little bit, it's more like, a, it's not really that close, but in between the wide and the incline, yeah. between the wide, Grip and the close. And the close grip. Yep. So I can get a little bit, you know, average in between that. So Absolutely. Yeah. Right on. Thanks, Thanks fellas. Pow! Pa Come paper. Pa pa Wait, pa paper it. beats pound rock. Pound it. Pound it. Snail. Oh. Uh, High hey. five. Well, no, move your hand. <laughs> High five. Turkey. Oh, man. Aren't you glad you're in America, Olu? I'm, I'm happy to be here, especially I never think. <laughs>